All right, you guys, in this video, what I wanted to show you is how you take photos while actually surveying with your data collector. So where they go and how you can bring them over to your desktop. So I'm making a new job called taking photos. I'm going to be using a GPS or a uh, robotic simulator. It really does not matter. The uh, workflow is exactly the same in the field or in the simulator that I'm uh, making the video in. So let me connect to my GPS here. So you would obviously connect to your GPS, verify that it's connected to a network, verify that you are fixed in the spot where you are. So I'm in a field here, apparently. I will maybe move here, or you would just walk there if you are in the field. Um, taking pictures with your shots can be done before or after taking the actual survey measurement. So uh, right now, I'll just call this, I don't know, a ground shot GS, and we'll take a picture or take a uh take the actual measurement and now you realize oh i should have taken a picture with this thing what you can do is you can go into the drop down here and go into edit points and under edit points highlight the point that you want to assign the picture to and just hit photo and hit the little camera button it'll fire up my camera and you can see me over here uh i'll just take a picture and we'll assign that to point number 100 as a ground shot and now let's say you walk up to this spot over here and you decide that you want to actually take the pictures first so you'll go into your settings and again this could be done in your you know normal mode or in the map mode if you're in the normal mode you would uh, just hit the little code button over here and hit photo if you're in map mode you would hit the little i guess still properties button over here and go into the same uh context menu over here photo and we'll take a picture maybe over there and for the fun of it we will take another picture in a different angle this this button so now we have two pictures assigned with that one point that doesn't exist so 101 doesn't exist yet because we're about to actually uh, take it so I'll hit the OK button and another ground shot over here, so that's OK. So we collected the two points. If I look at my map, not my map, my edit points, you can see that there's uh, icons that look like photos, which means if I go into edit, you can kind of see what photos were assigned or associated with which point. So this is easy enough, right? Um, now, let's say you're done, right? And you can carry on, but let's say you're done. And you disconnect from your equipment you're still able to browse the photos through your edit points here, but uh, you want to now uh, take this data and look at it on a desktop, somebody else's desktop. It requires magnet tools. Uh, it's not something that you can easily open in a format that's non TopCon uh, related. There are ways to do it in a shape file, but again, this video is just to show you uh, using magnet tools. So I don't have, uh, uh, magnet tools let's say you don't have magnet tools installed on your computer right on the uh, magnet or what is it uh, data collector in the field so what you would do is you would probably go into your folder manager and uh, stick in a usb drive like i have into my computer so uh usb i will find and this is the tricky part you have to find your actual job so we'll go and go into my jobs where I actually found the job itself. Uh, it's under here. I called it taking photos. So I'll copy this out. I'll copy it out to my thumb drive. So let's go here and I'll just paste it in here. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see. Obviously, I have to close the job itself. So let me just uh, close. Let me get out. And let's try this again. Uh, magnet field, jobs, taking photos. Here we go. Copy. So obviously close the program before you paste it somewhere else. Go. So now that file which we were in lives on my thumb drive. So it's unrelated to what it actually was before. So now you would physically remove the USB drive and plug it into a computer that has magnet tools on it now i have magnet tools loaded on this very same computer but what we will do is i'll open up uh, a job call it taking 
photos import mjf just so that we know what's going on so we are importing the magnet job uh, file into uh, magnet tools and here this is blank you see i have no settings in here so if i go into import and now we browse to that thumb drive usb and we'll do taking photos make sure that you're importing the correct file format so this is a field software job file so it's the mjf file if you don't do this uh, magnet tools can actually sometimes hiccup and not understand what's going on you don't have to have any of these uh, advanced options uh, uh, checked i uncheck them because it's not unnecessary but i'll just hit the open button it'll warn you it'll say hey i read the magnet job file it has these settings and these are correct i will inherit them so i'm leaving these checked i'll hit okay you see i have two points in a map it brings over the you know the base po uh, points too but essentially my point number 100 is over here so if i double click it you'll see that it's got the gs code over here but in the photo notes there's my face and if we go to point number 101 uh you go into photo notes again you see that there's two points two pictures over here and those are the two that are associated with these points so uh, it's easy enough if you have that MJF file, it needs to be imported into Magnet Tools. You see, you don't have to grab anything else with it. It comes with the pictures themselves. Um, now it's up to you what you want to do in Magnet Tools, but uh, you see that the pictures are now here, which means when we hit the save just job and reopen this job uh, later, I don't have to have the MJF file uh, associated with this thing anymore because now it's a tools job with the embedded pictures. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.